Hello friends and welcome to this web series. From this video onwards, we are going to start learning C++ and we'll start our C++ journey with reference in C++. What is reference? So reference is nothing but an alias created for a variable. So what is an alias? So I will say integer x equal to 5, right? When you make such declarations, right? You know what happens, right? A random memory location is selected, right? Most probably this is a local variable, so in stack, right? This memory location can be accessed by the name x, value will be stored as 5, and it will have some address, let's say 1000, right? Now, how do you create a reference? So reference is nothing but creating another name for the existing variable. So we say in data type ampersand and reference name, let's say p equal to x, right? So this is how you create a reference. As soon as you make this declaration, what happens is that the same memory location can now be accessed by another name called as p. So you could access this memory location by name x. Now you have another way of accessing it by using name p. This moment onwards, you can manipulate this memory location by using either x or p. So if you say p++, right, this value will become 6. Then in next step you say x++, this value will become 7. Then in next step you say p minus minus this value will again become 6, right? So there are, you have got now two ways to manipulate this memory location. So as you understand this, reference is nothing but an alias created for existing variable, right? So the points that you need to note down here is that no separate memory location is created when you create a reference. Unlike pointers, so let's say if I create a pointer, let's say integer, star q equal to ampersand of x so this is how i create a pointer so in that case what happens is that when memory location is selected for variable q right it will store the address of x which is thousand and it will have its own address 2000 but in case of reference no such thing is done no memory location is created right now there are certain rules for using references in c right first rule you have to initialize it. So you cannot just have a reference like this, int ampersand p. No, this is not allowed. The moment you declare your reference, you have to initialize it with some variable, right? And it's a fixed connection. Reference is a fixed connection. You cannot ever reassign this p to some other variable. So let's say you create another integer, integer y equal to 10. Once you initialize this reference with x, you cannot go on in future and you cannot say like uh, p equal to y or something like that. No, it's a fixed connection. Now p is an alias to x, the memory location pointed by x. It will remain so till its lifetime, right? It's a fixed connection. Unlike in pointers, if you say, int star q equal to ampersand x q is storing address of x but later you can store some other address for example q equal to ampersand of y then it will store address of y so pointer is a flexible connection but reference is a fixed connection once you initialize it with some variable that is it you cannot ever use it for creating an alias for another variable. Next rule is you cannot initialize reference to null. So you can't do something like int and q equal to null, right? This is also not allowed. You cannot initialize it to null. Unlike pointers where you can actually int star q equal to null, you can very well do that, right? So this pointers points to nothing, but you cannot create a reference and initialize it with null, not possible. The next rule is you cannot create array of reference, right? So you this something like this is not possible. Int and a 
and something like this no this is not allowed you cannot create array of reference you can create array of pointers but not array of reference so these are the rules that you have to follow while using reference in c++ reference has a very good application you remember that swapping two numbers program so we could not use pass by value for writing a function temp equal to x x equal to y y equal to temp so we discussed this in our video of c programming when we were learning pass by address technique right there's a limitation of pass by value technique that is if this is your main function and if you try to swap them by calling this function and passing these parameters by using technique pass by value they won't get swapped the reason for that is when stack on the stack right you remember that video when you make this call right these are already there a and b on stack with values 10 and 20 but when you pass by value a copy of these parameters is created in the form of x and y right in the and that will be 10 20 and these two values are swapped with this logic inside this function so original integers do not get swapped so we had to use pass by address and we had to pass something like we had to make a call like this right pass the addresses and then we have to change our program like this you remember that right now now that we have learned reference we can eliminate this need to use pass by address by using pass by reference so instead of this i can say int ampersand x in ampersand y and then i can just access the original variables so i can just pass this now as a comma b right and now this will be straightforwardly assigned so we will create two reference one reference x for a and one reference y for b as you know creating a reference does not result into another memory location right so basically so if this is your stack right where a and b are stored once you make this call to swap a and b x will be an alias created for a so x will point to this memory location and y will be an alias created for b so y will be used to access this memory location and then you can change the values of x and y and those changes will get reflected here because these two are alias, aliases right so this solves our problem where we had to use pass by address instead now we'll use pass by reference but obviously this option of pass by reference is not available in c language it's only in c++ so in c++ we have three options to pass the parameters to a function pass by value then pass by address and pass by reference cool now there's one really cool thing about reference that you have to remember let us say you are writing a function which returns a reference right it returns a reference to an integer and let's say your function name is my function right integer x equal to 5 right and you return x here so you are returning a reference right now how do you call this function so this is my main so to create a integer y we are so accustomed to collecting return values of a function like normal tendency would be to say y equal to my function right if this was a function like this if this were a function to return integer we'll definitely call it like this but because this function returns a reference you always have to place this call on the left hand side of the assignment operator so the call will be like this my function equal to y so now whatever this reference is returned will be initialized with y so y can access that value of whatever variable reference it is returning right now there's one more rule to this you should never return a reference to a local variable what is going to happen is that you can return this reference x right 
But the problem is that this x will go out of scope. It's a local variable. As soon as the call terminates, this will go out of scope. It will basically die. So once you return that alias to an assign, initialize it with y, you might want to x do something like this. You might want to manipulate y. The problem is you're trying to access a reference, a variable which has gone out of scope. Right? So never return a reference to a variable which has gone out of scope. So instead, you could say something like you can make this static. Right? In this case, this variable, because it's a static variable, it will outlive the function. And you can now use this y to let's say increment it or print y or something like that. Right. So this is all you need to know before you start using reference in C++. See you in the next video.